Jaguar WJHG. Coverage you can count on. Stand by mine. This is News Channel 7 Today. It took jurors just two hours to come back with a verdict in a Port St. Joe murder case. And a local man has been convicted of molestation. Good morning, I'm Donna Bell. And I'm Meredith Trahar. Thanks so much for starting your Friday morning with us. Meteorologist Jim Lazic is here with a look at our forecast. It's warm out there. It is, and uh, cloudy right now. A live sky cam over to Phoenix Springs shows that morning start. You can kind of sense the clouds overhead. Otherwise, a pretty quiet start to your day with a temperature of 59 in the Phoenix Spring, 64 right now in Lynn Haven. No showers this morning. They've come and gone over, uh, overnight last night. But we'll have more showers increasing through the weekend. That forecast coming up in less than 10 minutes. Nine. All right, okay. roll it. The family of a Port St. Joe man five, killed by his neighbor last year says that they are relieved after a guilty verdict. As News Channel 7's Cameron Taylor reports, it took jurors just two hours to find 60-year-old Walton Henry Stand Butler by. guilty of second-degree murder. And roll five. Where the jury finds the defendant, Walton Butler, as follows. The defendant is guilty as charged of second-degree murder. Family members of 32-year-old Everett Gant say Thursday's guilty verdict is something they've been waiting to hear. Everett's voice was heard. Uh, and he has not forgotten, so uh, this is his moment to speak, and, and so the jury has spoken for him. Gant went to 60-year-old Walton Henry Butler's apartment at Port St. Joe's Pine Ridge Apartment Complex in July of 2012 to ask him to stop using racial slurs around the neighborhood's children. When Gant knocked on the sliding glass door, Butler shot him in the head with a 22 caliber rifle. Gant died about a month later at Bay Medical Sacred Heart. Butler's attorney tried to convince jurors Butler killed Gant in self-defense, but the jury didn't buy it. Right, we'll Gant's family the says the guilty Don verdict is, is justice in their eyes, actually. but it will never fill the gap in their hearts. Everett's life was taken. Uh, he will never ever get that chance again to, to hug his mom and, and, and love his entire family and say the things that he has said to his dad. Butler's family declined to comment on camera, but said it's tough for them to see Butler heading to prison. As for the Gants, they say this moment is giving them some closure. We'll seconds. go home and, and, and we'll enjoy this moment of, of remembering Ten, Everett and, nine, and certainly, eight, you know, remember the times seven, that we had and six, laughter and, and five, joy and all of those four, things. Three, in Port St. Joe, Cameron two, Taylor, News Channel by. 7. Mike Meredith, Cure. Butler is facing a possible stand life sentence. Sentencing will take place December 12th. Mike Donna, Cure. A Bay County jury convicted a local right, man of next. molesting two girls. On Thursday, watch jurors found next. Rodney O'Neill Lockhart guilty of solicitation of a child for sexual battery by family member or guardian and lewd and lascivious molestation. Lockhart began having sexual contact with a young girl shortly after his wife died. Then story. this year, he molested another 14-year-old girl. Lockhart faces up to 20 years in prison. Sentencing is set for December 6th. And well, if you are like many of us, you may have gotten stuck in traffic on the Hathaway Bridge. As News Channel 7's Morgan Kirkland reports, road crews are blaming the weather for creating delays that turned into traffic nightmares. Frustrated drivers have been sitting in traffic for 30 minutes, an hour, even two hours. Well, I thought it was spring break. It's bad. I mean, you barely can go. The reason? Construction work. The Florida Department of Transportation is resurfacing Highway 98 at both ends of Hathaway Bridge. The work was supposed to take place overnight on Wednesday and Thursday. Project managers expected the job to be completed in a few hours, but they say the weather didn't cooperate. When you're putting down asphalt, it has to be a certain temperature. If it falls below that temperature, then you can't lay the asphalt. So it needs to be a right, warm be evening. A and because the evenings have been a little colder, uh, you'll Donna see Center. the work going on out here today so we can get the work finished up. That ideal temperature is supposed to be 68 degrees or higher. Wednesday night's average was 58 degrees, so they decided to stick around Thursday and finish the job. Some drivers were stuck in traffic so long they almost ran out of gas. I was getting worried because <laughs> I didn't know how much further it is to the bridge. 30 seconds. And then, you know, with all the stop and go traffic. And I'm panicking, you know, telling my daughter, I'm about to give out gas. And she's like, it's just down the road. But with the way the traffic is, you never know how long it's going to take you to get here. The obvious question is, why didn't transportation officials wait until overnight seconds. Thursday? But if we can get the job done 
quickly, then we don't have to have issues where we're starting lane closures throughout Ten, the evening, coming nine, back, having to pick them up eight, in the morning, and coming back seven, and forth, back and forth, six, and affecting people's five, commutes for a few days. Four, in Panama City, three, Morgan Kirkland, two, News Channel one, 7. Mike Meredith, crews will be working on the shoulders next. of the Hathaway Bridge today, but they say that there shouldn't be any major traffic problems as a result of that. So just be aware. And she's up. I well, certainly hope no more like that one we'll yesterday. Have, uh, Families from all next. walks of life occasionally need a little bit of assistance, and our military certainly yeah, is no exception. Booz Allen Hamilton Engineering is partnering with right, Operation Homefront to help. Home. Volunteers spent hours putting together about 90 bags of food Thursday at the Holiday Inn Select in Panama City for distribution. Booz Allen Hamilton is providing gift cards to purchase a turkey and fresh items. Operation Homefront provides emergency financial and other assistance to the families of service members and wounded warriors. Well, it is 536, 61 degrees. Our area's very own Salvage Santa joins us in studio to talk about his effort to give children in need a wonderful Christmas morning. Here's what's happening around town. Your forecast also coming up next. And Killer Mike with the polls. Watching News Channel 7 today with Donna Bell, Meredith Terhar, Paris Janos, and Viper 7 Weather with certified meteorologist Jim Loznikov.